So let's change the names here just to make it more paging like. So instead of limit, I'm going to call it count and this is going to be the count per page. So how many do I want per page to get back? That was like we used the limit before. And let's just say I want 10 back per page, right? And then we're going to add instead of skit, I'm going to add page and we're always going to start at page one. That's the first thing we will show inside a Google search. The first G downstairs will actually be page one. Let's just have a look here at Google. So here's one. You'll see the O here is actually page one, right? And then this is page two, page three, etc., etc. So that's going to be what we're looking for inside our code here. So back to Postman. So I'm going to send in new names here and that of course need, means I have to change the names inside my code as well. So count and page. So instead of calling this limit, it's going to be count, count now, right? So the count is again, how many do we want to see per page? So the second one, instead of skip, is going to be called page. Okay, so now we have the two names ready uh, and this is going to be called page zero. But what are we actually going to, how many are we going to skip if we're looking at page one? So looking at page one, we're going to skip zero, right? So the page is actually going to be called page times count. But the page needs to be minus one because if I send in page one, I actually want to send in page zero. Because remember, this is just math. We need to say if page one times count, then we're going to start at 25, if that's the count right now, or 10, if that's the count. But we actually want to start with the first one to be at page zero, or limit of zero, right? So we have to use the page, but we have to convert this into the actual limit. That's what we're going to use to actually limit the page, right? Let's see if it works. Let's just save this right now and let's try and have a look inside Postman. Page one, count 10, let's do a search. And we get everything back. So let's just say we want two per page, like this. We're getting back, oops, we're just getting back everything. Something is not working. Right now we have count here, let's see if we're actually using the count. We're not. We're actually still using the limit down here. That's our problem. And here we actually also made an error. This should be called skip instead of limit. Right, let's try again. We'll do the page, we only get two back, and that's the page one. Now if we're looking at Google, I would press now, let's just try and have a look again. So for cheese, down here I would now click on page two, and that's actually pretty much the same as putting in page two here now, and I'll get to page two. Now I'll click page three, and I'll get into page three. Now the count I can also change as well if I want to, but it's running, right? So now you have real pagination. Now you can say, I'm looking at the page of one, two, three, four, five, etc., and then I get back a specific amount per page. So let's say four here, and let's say we want page one again. Gizumi, I get the first four guys. Let's say I want page two. Gizumi, I get back the next three guys. So you have pagination now running. That's all it took. See you in the next lesson where we'll start to ordering. Have fun.